with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, for the last several afternoons, getting temperatures, including today, well above freezing. So some melting, obviously a lot of snow out there still, but slowly uh, eroding some of it. We check out the highs today, topping out uh, upper 30s to low and even mid 40s. Made it to 45 in Smithfield, 43 in Taunton, low 40s along the south shore in the Bedford, 42 and westerly at 41 degrees. So above freezing last three days so yeah local snowmen losing a little bit of weight here a little mini thaw going on there's not a lot of cold air around at least extreme so the next batch of precipitation will have some rain mixed in now this isn't overly serious an offshore storm system will really intensify but by the time it does that it's so far offshore that we just get grazed with some light rain and light snow showers so offshore storm should stay away but close enough to give us a little bit of precipitation light rain and snow showers only and really taking a break from big time storms this week you know last week we were concerned that this week there might be a couple of larger storms now that scenario is off the table especially the one towards the end of the week but we'll watch it closely downtown providence cloudy cool and dry 38 degrees on a light south breeze humidity coming in now at 70 percent temperatures range from the upper 30s in smithfield to 40 in taunton to bedford coming in at 39 and here in providence 38 degrees satellite and radar composite shows two areas of moisture one is off to our west and then there's more offshore both will clip the area but not until probably after midnight tonight into tomorrow. Future cast shows as well. 10 o'clock this evening, we're still dry. The clouds are rolling in. Here we are tomorrow morning at around 8 o'clock, uh, painting the green, which indicates some light rain, though there may be a little bit of wet snow mixing in as well. What will happen is during the afternoon, the temperature will actually get colder. So we'll start to see more in the way of snow showers mixing in, especially in our northern suburbs. This is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Then whatever is left of the precipitation pulls away by tomorrow evening. As far as accumulations, little if any. We're thinking by late afternoon in this purple zone, perhaps a coating to an inch of snow. That's essentially north and west of Providence with slightly higher totals up towards Worcester. So really most of our area uh, not seeing much in the way of snow. Again, northern suburbs, perhaps a coating. It'll be very windy tomorrow, especially out towards the Cape and the Islands. Winds may be gusting over 40 miles per hour. So a dry start this evening. And then after midnight, some light rain and light snow showers working in, which will extend into tomorrow morning. Again, this is not very heavy. I'm not expecting any accumulations during the morning. But as it gets colder in the afternoon, I think a better chance of snow showers rather than rain showers as temperatures start to fall. 5 o'clock in the evening, back down to 29 degrees. So future cast for tomorrow afternoon showing temperatures from roughly 30 to 34 degrees. Light snow showers, especially in our northern suburbs. And again, north of Providence, a coating and nothing more than that. Westport 34 as well as, as well as Little Compton. We're back to sunshine on Wednesday, but noticeably colder. High temperatures only in the upper 20s. Thursday and Friday, not bad. Initially, there was some concern about a potential offshore storm that's now off the tables, and temperatures start to recover over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, upper 30s and overnight lows in uh, the 20s. So, so